The story of the resurrection has always been told through the perspective of believers until now. The movie Risen is told through the eyes of a skeptic. And BackstageOL.com's Dave Morales got to speak with the stars. An interesting thought. This is a very, by the way, my voice, it's just exhaustion. Okay. Back and forth. This is called Post Grammy. Yes. Okay. Uh, this, is a, this is a great looking film. I mean, it's a story post crucifixion, you know, resurrection of Christ. And we talked to Joseph Fiennes, you may recognize the last name, a younger brother of Ralph Fiennes, who mm -hmm. played Clavius, the Roman soldier who doesn't believe. And we talked to Yeshua, Jesus, the actor Cliff Curtis, talked to him about the movie Risen. I serve the Roman Empire. I fought wars against those who did not believe in our gods. But nothing could prepare me for the truth that has now risen. Nice to meet you, and I gotta say congratulations on such a powerful film. I'm Catholic. Oh, well, good. He's I was so raised Catholic. Okay, let's talk about your character. Obviously, a huge <laughs> role. How do you what? how do you prepare to play know, Jesus? I take a vow of silence. That's the, that's the first thing. So I took a vow of silence. I lived monastically for about a month, and I tried to maintain that as much as possible throughout the shooting. I don't want to talk. What, what kind of pressure, though, to deliver a great performance like you did in Risen? I mean, what what was weighing on your shoulders to get? Well, this because I didn't want to to have that burden. I don't want to see it as a burden. I wanted to, f because you can talk about it and talk about it and talk about it, and you're just going to drive yourself crazy. And you can think about it and think about it and think about it, you drive yourself crazy. So my approach was to meditate and to be silent and to meditate in silence on two things, or three things actually, peace, love and gratitude, and to be grateful and to be at peace and to feel love, not talk about it, not act more loving, but feel more loving. I got to say congratulations on such a powerful film. What did this mean to you personally? Because you're Catholic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I researched this. Okay. So am I. So I knew the, I knew the story. Uh, I, 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 I'm a lapsed Catholic. I'm baptized. Um, but uh, what it meant for me was that I could see at the heart of this movie, I could see that there's an element, um, and you can interpret this, that through the journey of Clavius, he's a man that is part of, part of the death squad, if you like, that, that oversees the crucifixion of Christ. And then the, his world is turned upside down when he witnesses the resurrection. And it, it, it's in that moment that he, he finds forgiveness for what he's done. He's a military man. He's killed hundreds. He reeks of death. He's possibly suffering post-traumatic stress in that regard. He, he, he needs forgiveness. And I guess if we're going to take away anything as an audience member, we all might need some component of forgiveness in our life. I will tell you a fun fact about this movie. Mm -hmm. The Pope is actually going to watch this movie. Really? They're screen it for the Pope. Oh, that's, that's right. Awesome. And you can see it Friday in theaters. Our travel by Focus features.